Hello and greetings from Iceland and happy summer. But the first day of summer was officially yesterday and it's an annual public holiday here as well. That's how important it is for us here on the rock. Or to have those little milestones to tell us that we will soon be moving into the green season, leaving the snow to melt. And it turned out to be a wonderful first day of summer here in northern Iceland. Almost the perfect summer day, or 14 degrees centigrade, but that's stinking hot around here. So for the first time for a long time we finally got a day when we could let the sun into our hearts after this long winter. It's also a day when we could finally do some garden work, maybe some barbecue without the Eskimo outfit. So it was the perfect day to wake up my little drone and give him his little morning massage and say, come on little buddy, it's warm outside, so you won't drop dead from cold straight into a cemetery like your brother did last December. And then we took off to find all the townspeople to catch the mood on film, but this time it took me a while. So I had to ask, where are all the local people on such a beautiful day when the last snow piles are finally melting away, revealing the garden work that awaits them? But uh, all the people had gone up to this mountain to find more snow, like they somehow missed it. So I used the chance and uh, kept the car windows open while driving up those uh, steep hills so I could uh, better enjoy this uh, new smell in the air I hadn't felt for so long. But uh, it turned out to be a bit like burning rubber and coming from the clutch in my car, or the smell of money going the wrong way. So, I thought about my upcoming trip to the Westfjords next week, all the mountain roads there, the steep hills, and all the natural wonders and the beautiful photo subjects they have there. There ain't no clutch in this world that's gonna stop me now. And this is how the sun works on us Icelanders when we haven't seen it for a while. Our problems seem to evaporate until it starts raining again. And if it rains too much, we go to Tenerife or something like that and stay drunk for weeks. The first day of summer is celebrated annually on the first Thursday after April 18th, which uh, sounds a bit like uh, bureaucracy. But here, like elsewhere in the world, bureaucracy is a system to make uh, simple things complicated or impossible. So as a result from this strange formula to pick the first day of summer, that day won't necessarily be as happy as yesterday. And there are years when we should just call this day the day of Icelandic sarcasm. But this is what I got two years ago as I took off downtown to see all the happy faces celebrating the first day of summer. And I'm leaving a link to that video. But downtown looked like this yesterday, so I have nothing but forgiveness in my heart now for those uh, idiots who uh, decided that uh, we should pick the first day of summer, which is a public holiday, without looking at the weather forecast, and uh, wasting a perfectly good holiday into this. But that is just the Icelandic sarcasm, and uh, legend has it that uh, when summer and the winter freezes together, or when we get uh, frost the night before the first day of summer, it means that the summer will be good. And the legend has it also that if you see the elves do this uh, spanking thing during the first day of summer, we might get many rainy days in July. So I took a detour and uh, stayed away from all elf cliffs yesterday. Nothing was going to interrupt my plans. The sun are about to start, the green color palette on the way, what could go wrong? And I felt so inspired. Inspired enough to end this video with an Icelandic poem. It is a spring poem, very popular, and it is called, in Icelandic, Vore der komið og grundinar gróa, meaning, the spring is here and the fields are getting green. And the rest of the poem is about our waterfalls, mountains, birds, and of course, the sheep. Enjoy the Icelandic spring poem, and uh, enjoy my video clips from yesterday and today, as my drone was hovering and purring over Iceland's steepest fjord, Eyjafjörður.
just by the Arctic Circle. And with that, I am sending you best regards from sunny Iceland.